Hello again VR fans! Today I'll be heading back into the wild and taking on the elements in Sunk in the Smoke by 17bit. I'm a huge fan of open world survival games with hundreds and maybe even thousands of hours logged into games like DayZ and The Forest. That's before I even mention more casual experience in the genre such as Minecraft. So how does this new VR survival adventure compare to some of the biggest names in open world gaming? And is it complex enough to give even the most hard-boiled survivalist a thrill? Let's jump into the mid-game and find out. And as always, stick around until the end of the video to get my opinion of this potential PSVR game of the year. Right, so here we are at the start of a new day in Song in the Smoke. Um, a character is currently hungry, so I'm going to have to go and forage for some food. We're in the uh, Cathedral level, which is one of the... Uh, Eight the levels in the campaign, and the game is starting to get quite tricky. First things first, we'll grab some wood for tonight's fire. Right, so, let's go. Have a look around, see if we can find some food. Can't find some food. Well, we'll have to make some, won't we? I now I get meat from that? I can. Huh. Got meat from it? No. Oh. I have a lot of junk. Oh, I have food. Ah. Fortunate. Get that meat back to my arm. Um, fire for later. Oh, it's raining. And so there's some pretty aggressive predators in this level, so gotta keep her eye out. Oh, hello, ghost children. These ghost children usually lead to um singing stones. And there's one in there. Getting there at the minute, there's probably a cave entrance somewhere. We'll find it, certain of that. Like I said, there's some pretty vicious predators out in this level, so I have to make sure that we've got ammunition for our uh, bow. Oh, well, that's a few shots at least. Better than nothing. Thinking stone. Bang. Lots of wildlife in this level as well. Um, it's not just predators. Oh, hello. Ghost child again. Have not to get too cold. Ah, the cave entrance. Hmm. Okay, so if we grab this medium stick. Yeah. That on there. Boom. Touch. Excellent. Obsidian stone. Wow, that's a new one. There we are. We must be getting somewhere now. Here we go. Is our singing stone. Awesome. Well, that's worrying, but not exactly surprising. Oops. Okay, so I can stick that over the fire for tonight, and at least we eat tonight. Unless we get eaten tonight, in which case, you know, it all means nothing. Alright, awesome. Alright, my character's getting sleepy now, so we're gonna... ...start thinking about starting a new fire. Pick up all this old wood for start off. 
Right, so we have to start with some bark fibers. You get them by chopping up bits of wood and whatnot. And then we start with small sticks. Don't mind the uh, scary music, I don't know what that's about. Our predators out there somewhere. Right, so let's start the fire. Right, so now the fire started burning, we can throw on some medium sticks. Um, not that one, apparently. Get that going a bit. Right, now we can throw on some large sticks. Not sure these are ones will work because they've been with the sticks that we used last night. So that's going to have to do for now. Right, so let's start cooking our meat. Right, here we go. Fresh cooked meat, like we can eat that now. Right, awesome. Right, okay, so we'll save it. Right, and now we'll try and get some sleep. Um, it isn't without its own scariness because there are some nasty monsters out there that want to eat our skin during the night as well as during the day. So, sleep. Right, so that's our fire bar. Right, okay, we need to restart the fire because wake up during the middle of the night and we restart the fire because, I mean, otherwise we're going to get attacked by something horrible during the night. More sticks. Awesome. And then we can throw the medium sticks on. Oh, what the hell was that noise? I don't like that. Fire! Gears off. The scarier monsters during the night, and believe me, there are scarier monsters. They are horrible. Right, we should be good to go now. Sleep the rest of the night off. The mushroom. Wow. Let's not eat them, huh? Find some food. Didn't I just feed you? My god. That did a little hurt, so. how you make potions very very cool save that one for later right we're gonna have to hunt because uh we need to be making clothes for my character oh i got it awesome go me Like those arrows because we're gonna need them. Oh yeah, they all want to stand next to me now. Right, first things first, we need the pelt. Gonna make new clothes. Now uh, what can we get rid of? Oh no, he's back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't like this. Yikes. Oh, don't let me get killed now. That'd be terrible. Ow! That hurt. Funny. <laughs> I've spent most of the time in this map running away. Help me. Oh, it's still behind me. I can hear the big jerk. Whoa. Okay, it really went for me that time. Oh, no. Oh, 
some bleeding. That's not ideal. Oh, I think it stopped chasing me. Oh, crap, it didn't stop chasing me. Oh, no, but I have a bounced off it. Hit it that time. Oh, no. Well, I definitely hurt it, but it also went a long way towards hurting me. I'm doing something about this bleeding. Oh, my God. That thing almost killed me. Right, so. A bunch of obsidian arrows. But we're going to have to go back out there. And collect the more sticks because that really hurt. At least we got him now. Didn't kill him, but we made him run away. Got quite spicy for a second there, didn't it? Bloody hell. I remember. I'm a little bit turned around at the second is the problem. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't want the goat, I want the meat. Hey, right, excellent. Let's get that back to... ...to my camp. Like that, did ya? Oh no, my bow's just broke. That's the worst thing that could have happened. Ow! Well, that's what I get for getting a... Uh, little too big for my boots. That fire's not working. It's again. Crud. Thing's going to kill me. Still have time. I still have time. I can do this. I now I'm getting cold. Oh, this game's trying to kill me. Oh no, it's back. Oh my god, I survived. I don't know how I did it, but I survived. Right, let's get this bow restrung. Right, so we can defend ourselves, but we have to get back to our camp now, because we are going to freeze to death out here. Oh, great. Following us again. Cold, I'm hungry, I'm tired. It's like the real world. Oh no! It's still chasing me and I can't see! Ah! No oh, crap! <laughs> oh, I'm scared! You could get lost and all! Go on, chill! It's no exaggeration to say that Song in the Smoke is a potential PSVR game of the year. For me at least. Every part of the game is staggering, from its incredible environments, well crafted sound design and its well thought out and engaging survival mechanics. But that's not to say that this game doesn't have its issues and I'll come back to them soon. First of all, I'd like to reiterate that this is one of the platform's better looking games. The stylized graphics work really well, giving enough detail to make the world feel alive and most importantly, immersive. Each location is huge, some of the biggest I've seen on PSVR, and it's quite incredible how they were able to cram so much into each environment considering the age and limitations of the platform. Equally, the sound design is perfect. 
Soundscapes change depending on the time of day as well as the weather and even how much danger you find yourself in. Daytimes allow lush environments are filled with life and feel relatively safe, while nighttimes are terrifying experiences as you scramble back to your camp in the dark. All the while you can hear and feel something ominous approaching in the shadows. It's really unsettling and only possible thanks to the fantastic sound design. Meanwhile the game's maps are huge and varied enough to keep you pushing from one area to another. You do this by finding three singing stones in each map and then completing an objective which is usually a boss battle, at which point you can move on to the next, more difficult to survive area. These areas have their own ecosystems where herbivores are hunted by the growing threat of predators hiding in the shadows. These predators start off scary and challenging and eventually lead to terrifying monsters that have no qualms about chasing you throughout the entire map, so you need to be prepared. And so we come to the crafting system, which is hands down one of the coolest crafting systems I've ever used and it's all made possible thanks to the magic of virtual reality. Crafting objects requires you to use your tools. Like many survival games, tools and weapons need to be constructed with found objects inside each map, but that's where the similarity ends. Instead of using buttons to craft, wooden logs need to be shaved down with a knife, while campfires need to be built up with appropriate fuel and lit manually with striking stones. It's insanely immersive and really draws you into the world like few games are able. Unfortunately though, it sometimes doesn't go quite far enough, as animal carcasses are skinned and gutted automatically, while a timer ticks away some of the in-game day, which is weird and slightly disappointing. This is exacerbated by the relatively short in-game days. By the time you find enough food and firewood to survive the night, the day's practically over, giving you little time for exploration, which is the entire point of the game. My other issues with the game include the fact that after the initial training missions, the game throws you in at the deep end and no longer tells you any more about how the game's mechanics work. It was a while before I realised I could place my own campfires and I had to look up a tutorial by the developers on how campfires work properly to get through an entire night without being attacked in my sleep. Along with this I had to bleed to death after being attacked by one of the game's biggest predators before the game told me I had to pour healing potions on my wounds to heal them. It's an annoying trope of survival games to leave the player entirely to their own devices, and yes, I understand it to a point, and it isn't just an issue with Song in the Smoke, but it's annoying nonetheless. So do these minor annoyances take away from everything great about this game? No, absolutely not. Song in the Smoke is absolutely one of PSVR's best games, and a game every survival fan should own. But know that it's much more in-depth, complex, and difficult than I originally thought, and I know that might scare some players off. But if you're clamoring for a realistic, harsh open world, then you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more PSVR fun, then why not hit the like and subscribe buttons? It really helps the channel out, and hopefully, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!